the language of leadership is not just verbal. How do you think and act like a leader? Dr. Knut Thompson, lecturer, author, and co-founder of the Caribbean Leadership Reimagination Initiative, CLRI, is back to tell us more. I'm Kalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves, JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. And make sure you watch this video to the end because I have a giveaway. <laughs> So we've covered respect, mm -hmm. motivation. Yes. Uh, what was the first Modeling. One? Modeling was Modeling. the first. Do, yes. we have, do we have some more? All right. So um, we have some more. How many of them in total? Uh, all right. I'll, I'll tell you three more. Okay. All right. Three more. That's good. So, so I want to describe this first one as, um, as it's articulated in my, in my book, Reimagining Education Leadership, Proposition MRM, Modeling Respect Motivation. Mm -hmm. And I... I suggest that that, might I say, that tripartite, that three-part approach to leadership um, encompasses the foundation of effective leadership. There are three other um, important leadership pieces, um, uh, or, uh, might I say, elements um, in effective leadership, um, particularly for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And the, the, these are the kinds of things that that make for an effective entrepreneur. So those first few qualities I described uh, indicate what is expected of leaders generally, mm -hmm. um, and therefore including persons who are leading small organizations, mm -hmm. small businesses. Or you could be in politics. Or in politics. Or leading an organization, a nonprofit. Precisely. Leading at the community level. A trade union. A yes, trade union, yes. Level. Mm -hmm. So the fourth um, element is what I call alternative thinking. Alternatives, alternatives thinking. thinking. Alternatives thinking. Think, yes. So we, we, we have been led in many cases to believe that there are no solutions to problems we face. Mm -hmm. Even at the global geopolitical level, you might recall there was a time when uh, Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher from the UK and Ronald Reagan ran the world they promoted what, what was called a kind of neoliberal agenda, mm -hmm. which basically said that there was only one way of enabling developing countries to, to succeed. All right? In fact, um, there is there, uh, an, an acronym emerged out of that and called TINA. There is no alternative. Mm -hmm. all right? So they began this idea about um, low taxes, removing social, um, cutting back on social services, um, giving the business sector freedom to do whatever they want. Um, they describe that as the only viable path to economic success. And you will see an, a small organization where the management has decided that they need to solve a problem and there's only one way to do it. Mm -hmm. Alternative thinking as a mode of leadership, as a language of leadership, posits that there are, in fact, other ways. And so the entrepreneur, the leader, uh, is expected to invest in creating the processes and the opportunities to um, hear from members of staff, hear from team members, um, hear from citizens, in the case of a country, what are some of the other ways through which we can solve the problems we face, mm -hmm. all right? Um, and you'll find that when we bring people into this space, um, useful ideas are generated, all right? So that's the fourth element. Um, so it ties in with respect that you were Absolutely, about because the willingness now to listen to those alternatives is rooted in, in, the, in the respect that you show, all right? The fourth, the fifth, is what I call courage. 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 Think about great world leaders, and you'll see that one of the things that, one of the qualities that they each possess is that they were fearless to varying degrees, mm -hmm. but courage and leadership go hand in hand because a, remember, a leader is going to be solving problems, um, opening new horizons, pushing back against opposition, and um, 
contending with uh, even sometimes internal forces mm -hmm. that would undermine the effort of the organization. So having that courage to go where others have not gone, and this is also connected to alternative thinking because when you conceive of some alternatives, um, going that path will look, may require a level of toughness and determination and perseverance that, might I say, ordinary thinking, ordinary people do not have. Mm -hmm. So courage is connected to the, 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 the willingness to pursue alternatives. Yes. Um, and I'm, reading, I'm reading Obama's book now. Yes. When you speak about famous world leaders, yes, yes. his latest book, and he speaks so much about needing the courage to do that he came about when um, he was elected during the recession, 2008, Precisely. a very, very difficult time. So mm -hmm. that took a lot of courage to mm -hmm. start leading the country and even the world yes. out of that period to do what was indeed. necessary. Indeed, indeed. Yes, and, 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 about, and he had to take some tough decisions. Very tough decisions. Uh, and one of the things that and he... stand up to opposition. Precisely, even precisely. Even like he said, within your own quarters. Indeed, indeed. Um, we, we hardly produce spectacular results when there are no opposing forces. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom taught me something, um, I read it somewhere, but these days whenever I think of something that is inspiring, it's either my mom or I read it somewhere. But it's, the, the saying is that um, a bird rises against the strong headwind, not only in spite of the wind, but because of the wind. Mm -hmm. So an opposing force can become a lifting force if faced from the right angle, mm. right? And um, uh, in my next life, I'm gonna be a, a pilot. I, I love flying, and I always take a note of what's taking place. Before 9-11, you could, if you're in a small plane, even you could, if you sit in, in first class, you could see into the cockpit, so you could always see what the pilots are doing. Now. But what I find interesting is that the plane takes off against the wind because it requires the opposing force of the, of the wind in order to lift. Interesting. Yes, yes. I never even knew that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so um, if a plane is taking off in the direction opposite from which the wind is, is blowing, then it requires far more um, natural or, or mechanical energy. Mm. So look for, that, look for the direction of that orange bag on, um, on the left or right of the runway you'll see the, f the bag running this way because the wind is sending that way, so the plane goes against it in order to lift. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. I love yeah. that. Yes. So number six. Number six. It's the I word. I. I word. Influence. Oh, not, not me. I. <laughs> <laughs> not me, myself. Not me, my, I know. Not Influence. me, myself. Influence. Great leaders, effective leaders, rely less on power and more on influence to produce results. Mm. First of all, you can't bully people into truly respecting you. They may fear you, but they don't respect you. You can't bully people into um, being contented about the organization or believing in the organization. You can't bully them into doing the right thing. You might succeed in um, getting them to comply for a time if you're watching, but the moment your, your back is turned or the moment they can uh, disconnect the camera or do some other thing, there, 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 there it goes. So it is through influence which, which, require, which involves touching people's hearts mm. and causing them to believe mm. that we truly uh, um, bring them into the sphere of what the organization is doing. That sounds beautiful. How yeah. do you do that? How do you do that? There are three ways to influence, I think. There might be ten, but I can think of three. Everybody wants to be an influencer An these influencer, days, right? right. But real influence. Real, inf about. real influence. Uh, and there are many influences, though. I mean, and some influence is for adverse purposes. Um, a lot of people who turned up on the Capitol Hill last week were influenced to be there. They were not there by force. Mm. So influence is not always positive. But there are three ways in which we can influence people. The first is helping them to see the big cause, to see that um, large, which goes back to motivation, to see that larger agenda of which they are part. Yes? Um, to, to help them to see how that big cause is 
um, contributing to uh, making something that matters to them better or more within their reach. Um, the second uh, path of influence is to being able to communicate, finding the right time, the right space, the right language um, to explain to people what is this bigger picture. Uh, they say that many organizations or many projects fail, not because the project wasn't a good idea, but because it wasn't sold to people effectively. Right? So the big cause, the defining that, communicating that, and finally, the most important part, is showing people how valuable they are to that cause, mm. right? Um, you know, I remember when I was a young man, uh, they were, were having a, a conference on, on campus. I, I was just turning, it wasn't, I hadn't even yet entered the university. I might, might have been the year I entered the university. Um, but the, we're using the undercroft of, I don't know if you, right? Um, and the, the, the banner, we need to put the banner, the, the, the wall, the, the area is somewhat, um, has a kind of um, a belly, if you will, mm -hmm. and we're to put the banner inside that belly, all right? We didn't have a stand that we have these days. And I found a way of doing it. And um, a couple months later, another group was having another conference, and um, my warden called me and said that I'm, I'm to put the banner up for them. So that's a little thing, that, 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 that you, you are good at something mm -hmm. and people believe in you. Think of what it means for a young person to, to be saying, saying that um, uh, uh, Jennifer, Joan, John, I really admire how well you did that thing yesterday. Could you help these people? Could you work on it for me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. um, helping people to see their role in the bigger picture, their role in the organization. That's wonderful. It inspires. So there's a connection between influence and inspiration. And it keeps those employees loyal to you. Absolutely. So they are less likely. You know, you have some workplaces that have a high turnover rate. People mm -hmm. just aren't content. They're always mm -hmm. leaving. It helps to keep those employees happy and there. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because that turnover yeah. can be a problem. So you invest in training somebody and then you right. even go somewhere else. Right, right. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, so all that skill is gone. All that experience is gone. And the money that you put, you put in it. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. So, we have to check out your books, Dr. Thompson. I'm going to Indeed. put the links in the description below. Do you have them available on, online? They are all online, yes. Okay. They're all online. And now for our giveaway question. What is meant by alternative thinking as a language of leadership? Answer over on Exim Bank's Instagram page, at Exim Bank JA, and you can win a lovely prize. But before we go, here's a recap of Dr. Thompson's main points. Leaders should practice alternative thinking. Having the courage to go where others have not gone is important for a leader. Great leaders rely less on power and more on influence to produce results. There are three paths to influence, helping others to see the big cause, communicating, and showing them that they are valuable. Entrepreneurial leaders succeed by taking a team-minded approach to their interactions with colleagues. Dr. Thompson has given us so many gems on how you, the business owner and leader, can do so. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit Exim Bank's website, eximbankja.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.